Hi there, my name is Avijit Day and I am a technical marketing engineer for Collaboration Technology Group in Cisco. I focus on products like Cisco Meeting Server. I also focus on emerging technologies like Microsoft Teams, Cloud Video Interop and WebEx Meetings APIs. It was very interesting for me to create this content and I hope you find my content helpful in some way or other. Let's begin. CMS has multiple screen layouts for different meeting requirements. First is speaker only, which has, which as the name suggests, only shows the active speaker. Second is automatic, where the pane layout keeps changing based on the number of participants. Third is equal layout, where all participants are shown in equal panes. The number of equal panes vary from four till 25 and it depends on the number of participants. Fourth layout is telepresence layout, where there is a big active speaker pane and a film strip of few inactive speakers in the bottom. Fifth is one plus N layout, where there is one big active speaker pane and smaller panes under and on the right side of the big pane. Screen layouts can be pre-configured at the space level so that all participants see the same layout. Screen layout can also be configured for the space participant and participant profiles so that whenever the participant joins the meeting, they see the pre-configured layout. The layouts can be changed while in the meeting using active control or DTMF profiles. In a distribution meeting scenario, Maximum four streams are sent over the distribution links. Nine streams can also be supported, but this is uh, this is a feature free preview. This is the automatic layout. This layout changes between two options depending on how many active speakers are there. If there is only one active speaker, option 1 is chosen. And when more than one speakers are active, option 2 is chosen. This layout becomes 1 plus N layout when the endpoints are dual screen endpoints. Maximum 12 participants are shown in a single display endpoint and 16 for dual display endpoint. This is the equal layout. Based on the number of participants, the number of endpoints shown can vary from 4 to 25. The layout switches between 2 by 2, 3 by 3, 4 by 4 and 5 by 5 to suit the number of participants. This layout can be selected from CMA, CMM and Touch 10. This is the telepresence or stack layout. Both layouts have one big active speaker pane and small inactive film strip of participants. Telepresence layout overlays the film strip on the top of the big pane and the stack layout does not overlay. Maximum participant shown is seven in these layouts. This is the one plus N layout. Based on the number of participants, the layout changes between one plus five 7 and 9. In case of dual screen endpoint, first display shows the active participant and second display shows equal pane of 2 by 2, 3 by 3 and 4 by 4. Pane placement adds on top of the screen layout by giving the admin the flexibility to choose which participant should be shown in which pane. Without the pane placement, Participants are given a pane based on their active speaking status. Pane placement works on the principle of participant importance. The higher the importance, the participant is placed in the loudest pane. Panes can be reserved to show a blank screen if no participant is assigned for that pane. This is the screenshot of CMM configuration for pane placement. You can choose the layout, enable self view and add participants in the pane. 
self view can be placed in one of the panes. This would give a consistent view for all the participants. You can assign the same pane for multiple participants. This would result in switching multiple participants for the same pane based on who spoke recently. This can be done by setting some importance to multiple participants. Keep in mind that distribution links carry only four participants. This will change the pane placement arrangement for participants on different CMS servers. Pane placement works for SIP participants only and recorder and streamer are not supported. This slide and few more show how different layout looks for single screen, dual screen and triple screen system. I won't be talking much on these slides. Please pause the video to have a proper understanding or refer the PDF. The third and final customization option for layouts is the layout editor. Most of the times the previously mentioned ways would present a layout that satisfies the needs. But there are times when we need to have a control on the layout much more than the standard pane options. CMS layout editor gives the option to build a layout by defining the number of panes, size of panes and the positioning of the panes. Thus, there is no layout that cannot be built using the layout editor. Layout editor creates layout can be set for participants only and not for the whole meeting as a default setting. Layout editor created layouts need the base layout to be set as automatic. Only then custom layouts will work. Custom layouts are supported on single and dual screen systems but not on the triple screen systems. The reason being triple screen systems use tip and don't use the composited layout sent by CMS per screen. In case of single and dual screen systems, CMS sends separate composited streams for each display. Thus, custom layouts can be sent to single and dual screen systems only. Custom layouts are not supported for CMA clients link clients and in dual home conferences. I will talk about the link meeting and dual home meeting experience in the Microsoft Interop section. Maximum participant limit of 25 exists, cannot show more than 25 participants with custom layouts. Layout editor feature is a licensed feature. This is currently available as a subscription license only but there is a plan to launch a perpetual license option too and cheaper. The configuration of layout editor needs creation of a JSON file and this JSON file will have defined the number of pins, positioning of the pins and size of the pins. This JSON file also defines what should be layout if the endpoint is single screen or dual screen. This concludes all the screen layout related customization options.